I've decided to put together a set of plans featuring fans and flywheels. Um, basically my fans and flywheels kind of fit into two categories. Ones like these that are made from coffee cans. Then ones made from a thicker metal, like a sheet of copper or old computer case. Some of my earlier ones, I'd use a screw or a nut that had a natural dent in the middle. Or did it like, well, this was a Phillips head, so I could screw it into a board, then drill straight through. And uh, that would then slide on the shaft. What's nice about that is, for like the ones with the curved blades, you could then take the screw out, put it in the other way, depending on which side of the engine you wanted to put it on. But, as things went on, I decided to go with a more easier option of just making a little piece of wood and gluing it on. Um, just because it's so much easier and faster. And you just slide that right on the shaft of the engine and holds pretty good. And we have the, the flywheels, pretty much doesn't move any air, but carries the momentum through. So I'm kind of more themed with the beer bottle theme. So we got our plans. I'll just make a couple of these. Right. Put the tape on. I'm going to tape it off. Make things easier to get off later. The bevel adds a little bit of a challenge, but not that big of a deal. while doing this. That just can be kind of sharp. The downside of a fan that's more like this is versus one that has more space between is if it's in front of the engine you can't see the engine. So we'll score this surface and I'll make my uh, disc that's going to go in the center. Your scored surface. In this case, I'm using just fast drying epoxy. Other things you can use. And I have a little bit of a shaft here to make sure it stays centered. I'll just pound the shaft out when I'm done. Clamp it. Something opposing on the other side. We'll just clamp it together here like that. So. We just take that. Pin out now. Which sometimes can take a little bit. Kind of finalize the bends. Try to equalize everything so they're even. Once you get it all adjusted how you want it, 
the blades, just take your uh, tape off and uh, put on the engine. This one here is going to go on the back side of the Phoenix engine to give it a little more airflow from the back. Here I'm going to make a heavier themed fan for the beer bottle engine, beer bottle engine 2 in particular. Um, so just a little, it's less than a sixteenth of an inch thick, more like a thirty-second or so uh, computer case scrap that I'm going to use. Um, I typically attach a piece of wood if you have, you don't need to attach wood but it's going to make the cutting a lot easier and a lot quieter. Just like before, I score the surface of the metal a little bit. Just kind of get this in here. Just use that same to. What's that? hardened. Since this is going to go, you just take the, the peg out and then uh, because it's going to turn to the right and I want it to blow out that way, just turn these slightly. Try to do about the same amount. Just slides right on. This is on the back side. Just slides right on. I've made this heavier computer case blade for the beer bottle engine, but now I'm going to make one that's more of a, a lightweight coffee can type blade similar to this but with the same shape. Um, basically I'll attach that to this flattened piece of um, coffee can. Cut it out with the scissors. Because I was having trouble cutting out the more interior pieces or the details with the scissors, I'm going to use the scroll saw to cut that out. I'm just kind of taping it down to a board as I go and uh, cut them out this way. Once you have a cutout, you want to determine which side you want facing 
which way you want it blowing and all that stuff. Keep in mind, of course, these engines are on top of a hot stove. There's a huge updraft of air, so you're not really going to feel any wind off of them, but, you know, it looks neat. So, um, but with the coffee can um, blades, you're going to need to put a bend in them to give them some rigidity. So it, uh, you can either just bend it by hand around a dowel like I did in an earlier segment, or you can make a little uh, kind of a crimp to put in your vise that uh, can crimp a contour into it. Now on this one, where it's skinnier, it's going to be hard to uh, use that, so I made a smaller crimp as well. So that's what I'll do here. As I can here, keep it centered. Do it again. I'll do that on each blade to put a bend in it. Makes it much more rigid. I'll just go all the way around. Then I use the smaller one to do the uh, interior. Finished fan comes out looking something like that. That's the. Uh, 